Hey guys, it's your boy Kirkers and welcome back to my Liverpool career mode where last time I left off. I was um what was I doing? I was playing a few games. I um talked to you guys about more transfer news. And again, that's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I can't stop. I can't help myself. There's a big transfer news broke earlier today by Sky Sports News that Manchester United have rejected a bid from Chelsea for Wayne Rooney. They didn't release how much the bid was. All they said that Chelsea had made a bid and United have said no. So, you know, if I was United, I would actually sell Wayne Rooney. And before many other fans go, whoa, what did you say? Hear me out. Wayne Rooney wants to leave. He's been looking to leave for the last few years. As a Man United fan, would you want A, him to be, if he wants to leave, would you want A, him to be sold so you can get some money to bring in maybe a better player or a young talent who could end up being better than Rooney? Or B, let him go for free when his contract expires and you'll feel like a fucking idiot because then you will have got nothing from him. Would you rather A or B? Because if I was a Man I fan, I would prefer A. As a Liverpool fan, we're facing the same dilemma with Luis Suarez. Do we keep him or do we he sell him? I don't know what's going to happen with Suarez. And I don't know what's going to happen to Rooney. But if I was Man United, Chelsea, he may have been if it's high enough. Now, granted, they didn't release how much it was. I don't know how much it was. Chelsea could have made a fucking ridiculous offer. But if Chelsea had offered high enough... I would have really fucking took it. Really. I, I would have. I mean. Obviously Rooney has a high value. So obviously the. I say the least. Any I could expect to get from Rooney. The least. Now the least. Is maybe 26 million. That's the least. Many I could probably expect to get from Rooney. That's the least. I don't even know how much you would expect to get most. Maybe 56 to 60 million. Because Rooney is a very good player. He gets a lot of goals. He gets the odd assist. Uh, he, he can play well in midfield as well as striker. He's shown that, he showed that last season for uh, Man United. So, um, if you're looking at 26 million minimum uh, I'd accept that <laughs> if I was uh, David Moist I would if you if I if Man United got offered 60 million in the morning for Wayne Rooney from Chelsea I think Rooney would be out the door faster than, than the news could break Chelsea may have been oh wait He's already gone to him. He's been a Chelsea player for about an hour and a half. <laughs> By the time Sky Sports News would have broken the news, Rooney would probably have been already presented as a Chelsea player. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to get $60 million for a player, which I think United could get for Rooney, considering how good he is, If Rooney had played more last season, maybe his valuation could be up to 70, maybe even 80 million. Because Rooney is a very good player. He's proven that throughout the years at um, Manchester United. And I have no problem making that. I, when I see a good player, I know a good player when I see him. And Wayne Rooney is exactly that. But if you're going to get, if you, if he doesn't want to play for you, if you can get some money for him and you know you can maybe find someone better or maybe someone 
a young player who's going to be better. Or maybe you and I already have a player. Maybe Chico Hernandez or Danny Welbeck. They have loads of great young talent at Manchester United. It's something that United and Liverpool have in common. Having great young talent. Welbeck's even playing this match. Look at him. There he is. Hello. So, yeah, I aren't sure of uh, great young talent, nor a Liverpool. Uh, in fact, Tottenham have some great young talent, as well as Chelsea. And Arsenal as well. Those five teams, we're, we're all, all, all those five teams. Those four teams, and I'll say at Liverpool, well, we'll probably be well sorted into the future because if you come through the, if you're any way good English player, you came through the ranks at either Man United, Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, or Liverpool. Those are the, those five teams have the best youth academies in all of England. I don't care who you support, that's the truth. Look at the players that may I ha have. Look at the players you players Liverpool have. Look at the youth players Tottenham have. Look at the youth players Chelsea have. I mean, yeah, I fucking missed them. They have. I, I say they have about five youth academies. They have so many youth players. I don't know how they manage them all. If Liverpool went out in the morning, if the Premier League started tomorrow and Liverpool fielded a team of our best youth Cami players, we'd probably win the match about five fucking nil. That's how good they are. A bunch of fucking kids who would who would probably be only half the age of say a guy like Steven Gerrard and um are going out and beating some professionals who've been professionals almost probably about 10 years depending on their age most of them 10 years especially with Stoke, Stoke although Stoke have some good young players as well um, they have that good young player, who is it? I can't think of his name Maybe you guys know who I'm talking about and leave the comment section below if you do. I can't think of his name. I can see him in my head, but I can't place a name on him. Does he even play for I'll think about it. I'll, I'll look it up uh, after the video. I'll probably look it up later, later. As soon as... If you're watching this video, I'll probably already looked it up. I've probably been proven wrong. I'm by myself. I was probably I'm probably thinking of someone else at some other team. But I'm pretty sure I, I, I assume Stoke have young players. I mean, they can't all be old. I mean, no team has just old players. But, um, as good as youth academies that. The English teams have. No one has a better youth academy than Spanish Giants, Real Madrid, and Barcelona. Any big Spanish player has come through either Barcelona's ranks or Real Madrid's. Most of them are Barca, but a lot of them have come from Real Madrid as well. I think more would have come from Barcelona. The likes of Cesc, Fabregas, Xavi, Iniesta, Messi came through the, Sp the ranks there, but he's not Spanish, but you know, he, he counts. Uh, you know he's not Spanish, he does count as a talent who came through their ranks. Casillas came through the ranks at uh, Real Madrid, um, as did Sergio Ramos, um, who else? 
I think Xabi Alonso came through the ranks at uh, Real Madrid as well before he moved to uh, was it Real Sociedad we bought him from? I don't know. Was it? I think it, it might have been. It might have been. Um. Mm -mm. Um. Yeah, I think it was Real Sociedad. I'm just trying to think in my head if it was, but I'm almost certain it was Real Sociedad that uh, Liverpool bought Xabi Alonso from. After he came through the ranks at uh, Real Madrid, he went to Sociedad, and he was bought by Liverpool. Now he's at Real Madrid. And uh, some rumors of him coming back to Liverpool, but he said he's not going to go back to England this summer. Which is going to spell bad news if you are Real Madrid because they are going to lose a shit ton of money. They're not going to get anything back from him because his contract expires and next season. So, looks like if he is coming back to England, he is coming back on a free transfer. So, in your first Real Madrid, you paid $30 million from him and we're getting him back for free. I love if we sign Christian Eriksen, we won't want him back. <laughs> but that's only if we sign Eriksen, which unless I hear some, unless we hear something concrete from Liverpool, that's not gonna happen. Which is very likely because the player, the stature of Christian Eriksen. Liverpool never seem to want to sign players. As like Christian Eriksen, although I guess you could classify Luis Suarez as a world-class player, even though he gets in trouble all the fucking time. Liverpool would much rather get young talent than make them into world-class players. But, uh, then again. We did sign a Philip Coutinho, who's world fucking class, whichever way you look at it, and Daniel Sturridge, who is just a fucking boss, as well. Get back here. Mother truck. I think there was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. Something other than football. What was it? No, there was something. Think, brain, think. Um. Oh yeah, you guys obviously know the game Minecraft, don't you? Some of you probably play it, some of you don't. Some of you probably never even heard of it. But if you have never heard of it, uh, do you live under a rock or in a cave with no internet? Yeah, Minecraft. Videos are everywhere. I'm doing. I, I'm playing Minecraft myself. I don't know how to record it, otherwise there'd be videos on it. But uh, because I'm doing it on my laptop, I can't use my the webcam to record things on the laptop. Maybe I'll work when I get a capture card.
Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It might. It might. Um, but yeah, I've been playing Minecraft the, for the past couple of days. And I realized something. It's fucking addictive as shit. If you've never played Minecraft, unless you want uh, be social in any way, <laughs> space or form, shape or form, do not play Minecraft. It is so addictive, and you will not even notice the time. You can start at like at one o'clock, and you won't stop. And by the time you stop playing, it's fucking nine o'clock. You'll be wondering, what the fuck was I doing for eight hours? And then you realize, oh yeah, Minecraft. Fuck me. <laughs> it's a really fun game. I, I was actually only playing it before I came, started recording. Uh, got mob spawner. <laughs> I wish you guys could see it. These fucking mobs are stupid as shit. They spawn, I kill them, they spawn more, I kill them. It's just too easy. Uh, if you do play Minecraft, word of warning, skeletons are OP. Don't mess with a skeleton. Don't even try it. If you want to mess with a skeleton, probably get yourself some armor first. Actually, I just thought of that. I don't wear armor. I forgot armor. Damn it. I didn't even put armor on myself. That's why the skeleton was hurting me. So much. In the world, I've only died once when this two skeletons fucking double teamed me and shot the shell me. Luckily, it was only outside my door, so I got my uh, I got my uh, stuff back. I've already been to the Nether for. Strange enough, when I went into the nether, there was no pigmen around me. Surprisingly, it took me about five minutes to find one. Hmm. And then I found a whole group of them. They were just standing there. I know they're meant to be peaceful, but they could at least attempt. Like, trying to scare you, come over. area make you think they're gonna attack and woo my win the FA Cup I noticed the match time seems to go faster when I'm talking to you guys I don't even pay attention I mean Said no, I don't think I acknowledged any of those goals. <laughs> I just destroyed my, my Liverpool's fiercest rivals. The team I personally hate the most, and I didn't acknowledge any of the seven goals. Ha! And I wouldn't even waste worth my time. I wasn't even fully paying attention. And I beat him 7-0. So I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> About Minecraft. <laughs> of all things. I'm pretty random like that. But um. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I was saying stay away from skeletons. Um, make sure you get yourself some armor. I've already found a model of iron. I mean, I have so much iron in Minecraft, it is unreal. 
I would have preferred to find the Mother Lower Diamonds, because those are what you want to find, but the Mother Lower of Iron, that'll do <laughs> very nicely. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, Minecraft is pretty addictive. If you were planning, if you've never played it and you were going to play it, make sure you don't plan anything. Plan to do anything during the day because you will completely forget. So if if I ever slack because with uploads. It's because I was stuck doing Minecraft. <laughs> I was addicted to Minecraft so much. Freaking hell. I'd wager that freaking Minecraft is more addictive than cigarettes. So fucking addictive this shit is. But if you have never played Minecraft, then do give it a try because it is pretty fun. Just a hint, the first thing you're going to find guaranteed will be coal. Because there's fucking loads of it. If it's not coal, then it'll be fucking iron. Because there's loads of that too. You'd think that would be rare, but it's not. No, it's the diamonds that are rare. You can also find emeralds, but hardly anyone ever finds emeralds. Unless you get them from um, the villagers. Because there are villages in Minecraft. Because I beat Leicester 4 0, 2 goals for Cavani, 1 for Neymar, 1 for Paison. As he came on as a substitute in the 60th minute. Ryan, why, you, why did you get suspended for the last game of the league? Was that game a home or was that away? Because if that was a home, that means we already got the medals. I think that was away, was it? No, that was a home. That was a home. So that was so he already got the medal. So I guess I guess he uh, got um he got what he wanted. Then he got so then he got then he got the fuck out of there. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't sub him. Marseille win the Europa League. Every year it's someone different. Have you noticed that? It's never some it's never the same team. It's always someone different who win the Europa League. Last year it was Lesia. Now it's Marseille, a French team. They beat Leon in the final, it looked like, you could say. What's going to be a tough task for Cavani and Suarez is getting past Neymar. He's four goals ahead of them with one game remaining. I can't imagine one of the one of my Suarez or Cavani getting four goals. Then again, Cavani has gotten four goals in a game before. That was against West Brom. I remember that from a few seasons ago. To wrap up the league. Was that just when was that? I know he did. I remember it. I don't remember what season it was, so probably could go back and look at previous video to see. Fell back to face old club. That's right, I'm playing Tottenham. Yeah. Are they not? Get your head out of the water bowl, you stupid dog. I know you're uh, thirsty, but that's not the solution. Just drink it. 
The dog's got a head in the water bowl. I'm warm too and I don't stick my head in a bowl or water. It's not the answer, mate. It's not the answer. Did I just say? Pretty sure it did. Hang on. Yep, sure did. Last game of the season against Tottenham at White Hart Lane. Are you can't be serious. What? I took him out of the team. What? Falkenberg was meant to is on the bench. What the hell happened? How did you get on the bench? Bench Carols? Pay more attention. Obviously. Next game. Last game of the season. Again, starting on this bread. It's going to be a pretty tough one. Play. Notice the I have to press X sometimes twice to get the thing to listen to me. 3 2 R. Oh, Ramos is gonna miss the Champions League final, you poor bastard. Unless it's only a small injury. But I won 3 2. God see, Cavani did get a goal, but <laughs> Neymar scored as well. <laughs> Cavani only got one goal, and Neymar guys, his as well. Ah. 2 weeks with a dislocated shoulder. How unfortunate. Ah, oh, talk about unfair. That is just a definition, mates. Oh. For the second year in a row, Neymar is the top goal scorer in the Premier League. He's only been here for two and a half seasons and he's been the top goal scorer two and a for two seasons running. Champions League final, yeah! De Guzman returns to face former club Liverpool. Oh yeah! I forgot De Guzman went to them. Actually, I'm gonna put him in the white jersey. Because, yeah, that's the jersey they're well known for wearing. The white. Originally, they've always worn white. I know. Who cares about Real Madrid? Barcelona is a better team anyway. So, enjoy the match. Enjoy the Champions League final. Lagabouts. How's you once the match is over?
contested here and uh, it's got to be played to a conclusion and hopefully our voices will stand up to the conclusion that it's uh, Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith. Well, I hope we go to the occasion, Martin, and I hope these two teams do. Well, we've got a, a battle within the war today, haven't we, with the player getting his first crack at his old teammates. Yeah, and I think it's always an emotional time when you face your former club, so he just want to concentrate on doing himself justice. The game today, Liverpool, they play Real Madrid. What do you think about this? It's pretty tough to call. They're good sides, aren't they? They are. Two high-caliber sides, and you look at the two sets of players, so much quality in both, and uh, it is difficult to kick off to separate the two. Guido Pantaloncini is our referee for this game. And it's Liverpool. We'll be watched by uh, many of the crowd, especially today. We've got the game underway. Into the attacking third. Luis Suarez. It's goal! With a brilliant header! What a way to start the game. First attempt, first goal. And again, the keeper no chance for to did he? And look at the neck power the muscle they put into that really connected with it firmly. Three minutes gone. And the opening goal. He's got space. Read the intentions of the opposition there to make that interception. Throw in for Real Madrid. The good man. That's good support as they build this attack. This is the chance. Shots on here. Courtois. A quality save. Here is an opportunity to break. He's in the goal. Well, they were breaking away well. In the end, the defenders snapped it out. Crosses on. And he's in there with a the hand. Walking on the line. Well, they're not going to rush to take a corner. They're a goal up. And it could lead to another challenge to score. Let's 
Aguero. In the end, they'll be happy to retreat into the dressing room to get out of this hostile atmosphere. Gareth Bale, wide area, cross might be on. Mario Goetz. Quick tempo to the passing. The opposition can't get near them. Keeps it going well. Long range yeah. Super fine save. It's back to another corner. Have a look at that the corner gap. the intentions of the opposition there to make that interception. Advantage to Real Madrid. Challenges for the ball. And it's now with Liverpool. Time for a substitution. Well, here's a chance for the one. Well, you can't have a lot of time to do it to make the save. Time for another corner. And coming up is a switch in personnel for Real Madrid. A bit of penalty to get that slide tackle absolutely right. It's a heading chance now. Not blocked. Well, all these corners, you've got a feeling they're going to score sooner rather than later. Shot to shot on target, that will go down in the stats. The Champions Cup winners, they've done it. They set out to win the Cup, and that's what they've achieved. Brilliant! Yeah, a fantastic achievement by this set of players. Look at the jubilation within the Cup. It is a day to remember. Be Real Madrid six nil. Is the game trying to tell me something, or was I just slacking? Hmm, maybe I just slacked. I can't imagine it's telling me Man United pair and Real Madrid by one goal. <laughs> it's impossible. 
Shouldn't that be champions, not champion? There's not one on us, there's 11 on a king, plus the substitutes. Who, uh, I don't know. <laughs> It'll be brutally honest with you, I don't remember who the substitutes were. Phone, huh? Well, I'll have to wait for the window to open, but I'll consider that. Neymar, you can ask for a million quid if you want. In hell. Getting all my dolls. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. <laughs> that's. Uh, no, that's not right either. There we go. Contracts. Should, uh, he's on a three year contract still, isn't he? Neymar? No, he's on two. So I only signed him on a four-year contract. Sixty appearances, he scored fifty-four goals. Wow, that is pretty damn impressive. You know what? He wants he wants a quarter of a million. I'll give him half a million. You earned it, Mister Neymar. Over 50 goals again. How the hell does he do it? I just don't understand. I don't understand. Hmm. Ha! Ha! Aston Villa! Yeah. I'd love to know where they would get the money for Ericsson. You must be smoking some good shit if you think Aston Villa have any sort of money to get Ericsson. They couldn't pay his wages. Let alone his... Make a bid big enough for me wanting to sell him. I call it that a spit in the face. Plus Ericsson's not going to go anywhere. Because I we know how to get him to sign a new contract. England again? You only offered me a job at the end of the season. I think I've been offered every team, every country you can get offered. Denmark Christian stop recommending me he. Freaking he wants to leap or he wants me to manage him still That's because he's not going anywhere We can fix that. There's no point in a performance review. I won everything. I finished on a hundred and six points. Over twenty points clear for my closest for the closest team. Both Manchester's because they both finished on 79 points. See if they second some goal difference, obviously. Or some sort of bullshit like that. 
Someone was on loan? Oh, Grange. I almost forgot I had players on loan. <laughs> like, what? Alright. <laughs> I remember you. Sure. Let's say I remember him. No comment, no comment. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I don't remember you. Why? Who are you? What are you doing here? Get out of my your game. Hmm. But I do, I remember Grange. I know who he is. No news on Ericsson's exit. That's because it's not going to happen. God, it takes so long to load up a new season. So slim there. Huh. I probably if I probably checked him out I'd probably see he's worth jack shit. And probably lowest overall he'd probably fit. Strong to a player. Just so uh, we don't have to go back into the la end of last season. And the new season begins. Wait for it. Come on. Hurry up. Now, hey! <laughs> oh, fucking damn, seriously. It took that long to load up one day simulation, really? Hmm. These players might be handy if I need any young players, but I can't imagine that being the case. I didn't even pay attention to who got really hit last season, to be honest with you. I don't know who's up, who's down. I couldn't give you. I couldn't tell you anything. Hmm. 
need to be honest with any of you. Uh huh. What I do need is to check up on the contracts because a lot of players are running out the deals. Mr. Ramos, don't worry, we will offer you more money so you will stay at the club, huh? That sounds good. Yeah, it does. His smile on his face. See? Continue, of course. Must offer you a new contract. Uh huh. Hmm. No, you want? You don't want any more money? Huh? Strange. Didn't ask for more money. God say he does want more money. He wants five k more. You know what? I'll will give you. 30k more. Will I give him 30 or 50? Mm. 50, why not? He did that for 5k, so we'll give him 10% more. Is that right? Probably. <laughs> Probably not. I'm just doing that off the top of my head. If I thought about it, I'd probably. You got that wrong. You really thought about it, but. Who cares? Offer you more money, yes? Gonna be happy with that, Ericsson. I'll offer you double if you stay. Hmm. Cavani and Suarez can't let that the contract run out. I don't know if I can offer you any more, Cavani. I can offer you 1k, 100k more, but I think that's as high as I can go. Oh, so that's your food to wage. I hope you're happy with that. Same with you, Louis. Louis, sorry. I don't know why people call him Louis. Sometimes I call him Louis as well. Just slips out. Uh huh. Company wants more money. Gonna give him more money too. Well, he plays well as well, even though he got injured twice last season. I don't know about you, David Silva. I don't know if I'm going to uh, offer you a new contract. It's like, what have you done to earn it? He didn't play the best season last season. In fact, I'm pretty sure the man is still on my starting 11. Tadic. Is he? No, next season. No, he's good for now. Uh, Pazon, let's just get him to a one year contract. That's exactly what he wants, huh? Well, that's the, what the chief executive suggests we give him. And buy, he's a pretty good cover for Mr. Bale. Why not? Let's offer him more money. Double. I'll double for what you what the chief executive. Is suggesting because you earned it, because you did play pretty well in the games I played you in, which weren't many. But <laughs> that's not my. That's not your fault. That's mine. I'm not going to offer you a new contract, Jones. You still have. You're still on a technic. You're still technically on a trial. Oh, to me. And you, I don't know if you're going to stay at the club at all. Same with David Silva. Well, I don't think I'll sell David Silva. I'm glad to tell. I'm glad it let me know he accepted it. You're welcome, Neymar. Friggin' hell, you earned half a million. Freaking earned it. Come on, Eric. I want to see Eric. Above all else, I want to see Ericsson accept his contract. Barcelona looking to sign Chesney. It's not what I want to see. I don't care if they're trying to sign Chesney. I hope I'm saying that right. Probably not. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Company. Lewin. Cavani. Gotze, Bardain, Mbai, Poison. I probably said all those names wrong, except 
Cavani and Gotte and on I said them right and company. And then buy as well. So I probably got some of them wrong. But I n I can I never get Cavani is wrong. It's too easy to remember, he's too good. Oh huh. Continuo doesn't want to stay. Huh. Um, what's my, what's transfers? Oh, if you want to leave, continue. Um. Underperforming? I'm actually glad to see that. Eager Casillas is retiring. He's down to a 78, what the fuck? Now that's just disrespectful. Or game. So we're waiting on Ramos, Suarez, and especially Ericsson. Ericsson declined again, you motherfucker! No, no, <laughs> that's why he died. God damn it. What's your line? Let's try that again. That's, I heard a side thinking Erickson just rejected the contract because he was, still wanted to leave. No, it's because my, but damn it, I spent all the money on him. Suarez, Cavani, and... Ramos and company and all them, didn't they? Where's Ericsson going? Get back here. I'm not done with you. Sign a new contract, bitch. You have no choice in the matter. Now he'll accept. All bases are covered. <laughs> the budget is aligned. Come on. I'm pretty sure I told him he'd be leaving. Be interesting to see what teams want him. I don't know what kind of money I would want for Courtois. I mean, no, not Courtois. Continue. Transfer offer. Already! <laughs> Real Madrid. Ah, ah, no. Uh, let's see. He's worth. He's valued at 19. So let's say 22. I'll accept 22. Real Madrid trying to offer 16 cheapskates. Barcelona are really in the hunt for a goalkeeper. If Casillas wasn't retiring, I'd give him to you. Hey! Christian Eriksen, contract offer accepted. Do I know how to pull a player's strings or what? I've, I could probably convince Luis Suarez to stay at Liverpool in real life. That's how good I am. He's just being bounced around like nobody's business. Shereri. He went from me to Real Madrid, to, to Chelsea, now he's going back to Italy to Juventus. So it would seem. Because Juventus are trying to sign him. 
They confirm El Shirari talks anyway. Be interesting to see if he moves again. Fucking hell. Players sold. Baba continue. I don't know what we'll do without you. I'm sure we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was expecting. David Silva is down. Knew it. I knew he would be. Oh yeah, the win. The win, sorry. Don't forget to put Ramos back in the starting lineup. The hell? Why are my three strikers away but no one else is away? It's probably the uh The thing Suarez won a few seasons ago with uh your wife. Oh what's this? Ah, oh, it's in my head. Where are you? Come out. I can't think of it. If you know the name of the competition, please leave it in the comment section below. Damn right they met my demands. They knew what was good for them. Ah, but now the question remains. What do I do with... Uh, I'm going to long range out again, was he? There he is. Season long. But, uh, what do I do with you? Sell you all. Hmm. Sell you all. Put you out on long. Hmm. Hang on, I want to check. I I know I have a sound back on the short list, don't I? Yeah. How much would it be if I was to try and buy him? To make a approach to Everton because I want to buy Morales so they can't use him against me. Do I have any players I don't want? Besides you, man. Um, nope, I don't think so. I'll see what Everton say to that. Just overprice. And see if I can not get him. That's why I said I would do it. Buy him and then I would release him. And then he would be out of my hair. Seventeen point five million. That's that's not bad. Um, how much is uh your man worth? That's. Less than what he's worth, so a swap deal wouldn't work. But signing this guy will, <laughs> which means I will have to sell Carlos, Carlos, or whatever his name is. Is it two? It's two offers for the same player, and buyers wanted by Atletico Madrid and Bayern Munich. Nope, and no to you, Bayern as well. And keeping him. Since it's looking like I'm going to get that player from Milan. Where is that guy? Carlos, Carlos, or however you pronounce your name. Bye bye. Watch Milan come in and try and buy him now. Ha! They accepted it, dumbasses. Sure. 
sure why not. Yeah. He's not really going for me. Yeah, boss are on. Oh, I really want the goalkeeper to try and sign Kotwa now. Piss off. Adrian, who used to play for me, and he went, Yeah, he got Porto, sold them to a different club. I'm pretty sure I sold them to Real Madrid. For some reason, there in my head, because I'm pretty sure they buy everyone I sell. <sighs> yeah, Del Statasio. That is an unreal name. <laughs> Uh, I will never ever be able to pronounce that properly. Not a fucking hope in hell. What? No, first future first team player. Him and uh, Falkenberg together. That's a strong looking centre back pairing right there. And we can test it out against Napoli. Why they're one of my pre season games, I don't know, but. They'll be regretting the fact that they are hmm. declined. What? Come on. <laughs> he doesn't think go off for him. <laughs> right, I won't. Submit new offer. How about squad rotation? Anything? I know I can sign Everton players. I signed um, Leighton Baines. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. Was that in this crew one or was that in the one I didn't record? That was in the one I didn't record before I started YouTube. But I did sign. I have signed an Everton players before. Come on. South American Cup. Is that the real name? I know this video is probably dragging on. Holy shit. A hundred and thirty. An hour and 13 minutes. Morales is accepted and your man <laughs> rejected. Ha! <laughs> Fucking hell, damn it. Whoa, what? What's wrong with you? A bigger roll? <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Squad rotation. And I'll offer you three thirty K more. It's a proud day for me. I signed a player. <laughs> Dumbass! You fell for it! Everton fell for it! <laughs> yeah, they have 27 million, but I have their best player! <laughs> you fucking morons! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> And he's out of my hair. Best 27 I've ever <laughs> spent. <laughs> so I wasn't going to do anything with that money anyway.
I have too much for my own good. <laughs> even the game knows I have too much. It didn't even give me the money for winning the Premier League last season. That's how much money I have. How much too much? I just want to see if uh, the fellow from Milan accepts my second offer. Yes, he did. Boom. It was probably the more money, wasn't it? Yeah, you greedy son of a bitch. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Couldn't see him for a second. I'm pretty sure you. I'm pretty sure I already sold Williams. Why is it telling me they want to sign him? Yeah, it did. I wonder if Marais has found a new team yet. Watch him go back to Everton. Ha! <laughs> No one's gonna go for him because he's 31. Ah! I am a fucking genius. And all of a sudden I've spent the most money in the window. You know what, I'm going to leave it there and we'll pick this up tomorrow. Until next time, this has been your boy, Curry Pros 100. Please like, subscribe, and peace. What the hell? Oh, it wasn't over.